Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living return with having. When I sit and do my recordings, there's always the possibility of ambient noise, but I have attempted to lessen that capability for you. What I'm talking about today is the dereliction of duties by people who do not do their jobs well. They get paid to do their jobs, and yet there's plenty of people who are looking for jobs who aren't always willing to do what they're paid to do. I'm returning to a space that I was at in the early morning hours of the quietude of the night where I like to sit out of the rain. But what happened was a person who works for a company called Atlantic Services brought his dump truck onto the scene very early as opposed to the typical time of four or five when most of those folks are out and about in their industry. What I determined was it was time for me to go because I didn't like the way that he continues to be too interested in my life and in me. So as I left the parking lot, he literally followed me with his dump truck as if he was about to run me over. That made me do a lot of things to let him know that that was not okay with me. But what I see is I come back to a spot that I like to sit outside the Dollar Tree where I go and I buy breakfast foods and other things at a good value, you know. I see that that gentleman who's responsible for picking up the trash didn't pick up the trash at all. It looks like he did absolutely nothing right. And what I sit there and I think about is that the city has apparently got a contract with that company or the local constituents of this vended area, this strip mall, have, and he's not doing his job. He's not cleaning up the junk on the sidewalks. He's not taking up the trash so that people have a place to throw their things away. And this is one of those kind blocks that they actually offer a trash can. That's marvelous today. It's really a kindness for them to do that for people. It helps to keep the trash and the clutter out of the streets most of the time. But what's amazing to me as I look around the sidewalks here around places that are set up for people in poverty and people who are in struggle is that I cannot believe how much gum and crap is on the sidewalks. And I sit there and think, there's a garbage can right there. Certainly you can find a tissue of some kind to put your gum inside and throw it in the trash can. Why do we have to see it on the sidewalks today? I just sit there and marvel at the stupidity of that. And I also look at the selfishness and the inappropriateness of that. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the world, and our land is literally being abused by people who don't regard the earth at all, who think that their sidewalk, that their driveways, that the, well, <clears throat> pavement of a parking lot is a place for them to put their spit, to put their gum, to drop their diapers, and to do nothing right. It's not that hard in a good place to pick something up and put it in a trash can receptacle in the right recycling space. It's also not difficult to learn how to recycle appropriately, and that's something that I loved about my late father and mother, that they really worked hard to recycle carefully in their community, and they paid for that. It was a special thing to set the newspapers out in a newspaper bin. It was a special thing to put the cans out, but my father always crushed them to make it easier for the person picking them up to recycle them and probably get some cash back for that. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about what is and isn't real in America. And what is real is that we have a lot of garbage that naturally blows around out of trash receptacles. That is truthful. And it does not really help us in our waterways with our fish or with our geese or with the animals of the earth. But it also monkeys our waterways. That is important for us to learn how to, well, churn and reutilize for the prosperity of our own nation, our own people, and our own lives.